Welcome back guys, and today we're playing Grass Cutting Incremental. This time, we unlocked a new feature called Slurry and Challenges, and we'll be attempting it today. But before I do, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and make sure you guys join the Discord down in the description below for more tips and tricks on constellation setups, or even Slurry and guides. So before I do a Slurry and Challenge, I'm gonna do like a quick sunrise and just get some souls real quick before I uh, attempt the challenge. Because whenever I attempt a challenge, it forces the sunrise anyway and resets my fighting multi back down to one. So there's really no point in like, you know, just resetting or doing a quick sunrise just for free souls. After I beat this stage, I'm going to attempt the basic challenge. And for those that are curious, here are my current uh, soul upgrades on the singularity chart. I only have fighter one, collector one, and forming one. And for my soul upgrades, here are my basic soul upgrades. All right, now that we beat this guy, let's do uh, our basic challenge. So once again, it forces a sunrise and resets my fighting multi back down to one. The goal is I need to reach stage 14 and my reward is 10 challenge score and 500 souls. So it basically just resets Solarians in general. So let us start the challenge again. All right. So, as you can see, I'm back down to stage 1 with no fighting multi. Um, so, I'm basically at early game Solarians again. So, as you can see, I barely have any Solarians and I don't have Solarian gen because I don't really feel like buying it. So, um, honestly, I'll probably just. Uh, next, actually, I need, to, I need to buy some of this because if I'm doing challenges, I'm probably going to be spamming uh, Solarians. So, I might as well just purchase it. Um, so let's buy like 15 so we're getting a pretty good amount we're getting like 30 per second I guess 30 per tick if I increase this to do I want to increase it to 20 I'm not sure yeah let's just increase it to 20 so now we're getting 40 per tick which is absolutely amazing and uh, so I don't really I was gonna do a time warp but I guess I don't have to do it anymore let's just increase my slaying gen speed Alright, so in the meantime, let us uh, work on our upgrades. We just need to get back to stage 14, which should be pretty easy, especially since I have like OP Slurian upgrades. Like, look, I'm already past stage 1, stage 2. Actually, no, stage 1 is a little tough, but uh, stage 2 is going to be super easy because I'm like getting pretty fast upgrades, actually. I'm actually capped by um, Soul Collection Speed. So that's actually an issue. Maybe I should have saved up for like Soul 1. That would have probably like made my progress a lot easier. But I'll just wait to um... To complete the challenge, I guess. I mean another way I can make it easier is I can definitely do like a quick sunrise for the fighting multi and just come back. Especially since I have pretty good gen speed. I guess that's the importance of like a good gen amount and gen speed is the ability to just come back easily or I already know what to do I'm gonna do a uh, sunrise for the quick fighting multi just gonna fight this real quick and then I'm gonna do a time warp so that I get my uh, gen speed back oh I also forgot to like get these remnants so that's a huge uh, progress uh, slowdown I guess so once I have those, I can literally just boost these easily. Let's get some portal stones so I can get a uh, cell collection one very quickly. All right, let's do that. Let's decrease this, get this. So now we have that, I can just get more points into that. And now life's a lot easier, definitely for sure. I lost my offline boost, but the damage has already been done. I already did what I needed to do. I probably don't need all my uh, Slurians in the Soul Collection. I just need to get uh, these stages as fast as possible. All right, so we're at stage six right now, and we have a Sunrise. We can get a Sunrise Fighting Multi of one of 1,200. So I'll probably just, you know, do that real quick, unless I can, uh, it's a little too tough, actually. It's not worth it. I'm just gonna put uh, all my points into the logs and put the rest in the sunrise fighting multi so I can get this number up. And then I'll do a quick sunrise once again. And then I might uh, put it into solar and gen amount so I don't have to worry about like my time warps and stuff. 
All right, we've reached um, 100 Sunrise FM. So I believe we're ready for a Sunrise. Right now we're getting 24,000 Sunrise Fighting Multi, which is absolutely insane. So we'll just do that real quick. And before I forget, we're gonna put our remnants into our uh, upgrades, as that's extremely important. So then I guess I'll do another time warp just to make things a lot faster. I have like seven left, so I could probably do a ton of those. All right, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Let's do a time warp to get our Solarians back and to get a ton of more progress to speed things up. Let's do a time warp and immediately go back to not waste time. Uh, we're gonna put points in the offense, put the rest in the portal stones. Once we do that, get soul collection and then uncap this, get this, just generate uh, stuff for like 10 seconds. Um, am I satisfied with the generation? I think I'm satisfied with the soul amount. So we're just gonna get offense right now, max out offense, and then try to max out defense. I ran out of time, but we did enough work, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're at stage 10, which is definitely a very good progress. Uh, all that's left to do is just a level sunrise fighting multi, so that we can get as much as of a multiplier as possible. Honestly, we might be able to get stage 14 in this video alone, which I'm definitely aiming to do. We have 34 souls as well, so I might be able to get soul one uh, at the end of this challenge without even needing the 500 soul reward. All right, now that we got our max fighting multi, basically we could do another sunrise for uh, two million fighting multi, which is absolutely insane. So we're gonna do that again, and obviously we're gonna um, do another time warp to get our uh, stuff back as fast as possible since we're in a, a time crunch right now. So I'm gonna pre-defeat these enemies so I don't have to spend time fighting them. This time I'm hoping we reach stage 12 or something. All right, so let's go back and do a time warp once again and immediately come back as fast as possible and uh, get those into there. Let's get some portal stones and get soul collection and put more points into this get some sunrise fm actually no logs are more important so once we get those multipliers all right we have enough soul now let's get some uh, logs and put the rest into offensive defense i might be able to get this as fast as possible no i can't i ran out of time but i think we did enough honestly i feel like we could reach stage 12 and i might push for stage 12 to be honest uh, I have the offense. I just need some of the defense. We're getting two per second right now, which is not enough. I think this is another time warp. I'm not sure. Yeah, if I do another time warp, I could put stuff in the Sunrise FM as well. Actually, no, I already have points in this. I already have stuff in Sunrise FM, so it's just a waiting game, to be honest. So, I must try to get stage 12 but if i can't well then uh, it might actually be worth it to be honest i don't know 13 souls is a lot of souls right there as well we're only getting like two per second as well which is something but i'm not sure if it's enough he does 300 billion and i do 700 billion so the difference is he does two around 250 per hit i do 600 per hit but i'm not sure if i have enough hp to tank it so that's definitely an issue. For now, I guess I'm just gonna uh, level up Sunrise FM. You know, I guess I'll try to attempt it. I don't think I'm beating him. Yeah, he just has too much power. I don't have enough defense. So that's something I'm gonna have to work on next time. Obviously though, Sunrise FM will just let me do it easily. Once I get those 500 points though, those 500 soul points, it's definitely gonna be a lot easier. I'll probably get a soul one. And then maybe collector two, I'm not sure. Forming two might be more important, I'm not sure. Fighter two though is more important. Actually, is it though? Yeah, yeah, I have 250. Soul one plus fighter two is 250 souls. Then I'll have uh, 250 souls remaining, which means I can either get forming two or collector two. I could get collector two and put the rest into forming speed to balance it out. Or maybe the souls I'm getting from this challenge would easily balance, balance it out. <clears throat> Collector 2 plus Forming 2 plus Fighter 2 would be 550. 
and then using the souls I get from this challenge, from like grinding the challenge, I could get soul one easily. So that might be the move, honestly. So we now have 6 million FM, which is only like a, a times five increase. It's not ideal, but it's the best we have. So let's do, do I want to do that though? I'm gonna just do another sunrise. Or I'm gonna do another time warp and, you know, work with what I have. I'm gonna put these into these though. So I can obviously buffer it, I guess. So let's do another sunrise, go back immediately, and then put those into that. So now I'm getting a ton of progress. So now we can beat it easily. And now we're at stage 12, and now we get 17 million fighting multi. I'm gonna use the offline boost from there. I almost have 100 souls, so that's definitely pretty good. Now we have, can't buy upgrade inside of a challenge. Oh, why? That's weird. Let's get some work down before I do another time warp. You know, try to make it easier on myself. Okay, we're at stage 10. The last previous best was stage 12. So we're definitely getting there. All right, I think we're ready for another time warp. I'm literally gonna use all my time warps this video just for you guys. This is gonna be another long video, so hopefully you guys enjoy uh, the long videos I've been pumping out recently. So let me, uh, Oh, I don't even have these remnants. I gotta remember these remnants. That's actually super crucial. Like, that literally got me to stage 11 for free. Right there. Okay, so let's buffer these out. I want soul, and I definitely want uh, wood. So those are the two most important collections right now. So now we're at stage 11. Previous max was stage 12. I just need to do another time warp and get there immediately. Let's do that. I spend five seconds on collecting. Okay, that's enough. Now we put it into offense and put some into Sunrise FM to make it easier. Five seconds. Okay. Put it in offense, put it in defense. Put it in offense. Alright, now put it in defense again. Kill this. Kill that again. Stage 13, that might be the best. Now we just work on Sunrise FM. Let me get some logs real quick. There we go. If I get Sunrise FM, I should be able to uh, get stage 14 literally next next run. Okay, we're getting I think we have enough points, so I'm going to try to get defense. No, it's not even worth it. Let's just put it into here. Or maybe I could like milk some solar shards. I barely get any solar shards. So it's not even worth it. So let's just go over here and see how many solar shards we have from all that time warping. So we have 47 QT. I don't know what that is, but... Um, I could get solar at another time. Or I can get sunstone defense to help out the run. I'm gonna get sunstone offense. Just help out a little. Let's get sunstone remnants, because 800 barely matters anymore. Super charge too. And while I'm here, let me show you guys some upgrades right before I beat the basic challenge. So here's my automation upgrades. Obviously everything's maxed. Uh, my basic upgrades, it's a work in progress. Advanced upgrades, everything's basically maxed except for this. Um, Remnant auto buyer, that's definitely very important. So let's get that. Uh, filler upgrades, everything's maxed of course. Sunstone upgrades. You can see here, not everything's maxed, but like it doesn't really matter. Advanced solar flares actually Sunstone solar flares actually do matter because it gives me more charge. So I'm gonna buy some of that um, Here's my uh, solar flare upgrades. Obviously the only thing remaining is supercharged too Okay, so now we maxed out sunrise FM Things have gotten a lot easier We now have 56 million multi let me get one more upgrade on here, so I can just, just milk a little more. Alright, we're now at 59 million multi, that's huge. Let's do a sunri sunrise. We now have 12 million sunstones. Uh, I'm gonna put it on one right here, and the rest on defense. We now have 172 souls, which is definitely great. We're basically soul farming at this point. 
On top of that, we get a little 500 soul reward at the end of this. Actually, no, stage 11 is our initial cap, which is great. Our last personal best was stage 13, so I'm hoping we can get to stage 14 this run. If not, next run. But we have max, uh, we have max fighting multi, and we have two time warps to spare. So, we definitely have to get it this time. So let's buffer this real quick. We're definitely gonna need some portal stones. Okay, so now we go back, do a time warp, instantly go to the star, uh, put that in there. Okay, now we just get this, so soul collection, perfect. Put this, that, upgrade those two, max that up, max those instantly, okay, perfect. Get offense, max offense, now we max defense instantly. I think we have to spend another time warp, because if we do another time warp, we can get it this run. And we needed this run. So. Let's spend another time warp. If I really needed to, I have two more time warps to spare. Let's go here. Okay, let's get the soul. Now you put it in there. Let's get defense. We're getting 77 uh, defense a second. Which honestly isn't great, but it'll do for now. Alright, we beat the challenge basically. There we go. Let's just put those into there for now. Do I get my reward? All right, yeah, if I hit complete, I get my 500 soul reward and I get a challenge score of 10. I don't know what challenge score does. I'll figure out, I'll figure it out next time, but for now. So next time, if I want to complete this challenge again, I need to reach stage 15. Um, I might reach stage 15 first and then do it, but I'm not sure. So, uh, our upgrades, we're going to get Soul 1, which doubles base Soul Collection, which means we get a 20, 120 base. We're going to get Fighter 2, which gives us 100% additive Fighter 1. We now have a 150% multiplier. We're going to get Collector 2, and then we're going to get Forming 2. That leaves us with 48 souls to spare, which, honestly, I don't really even know what I want to get. Probably Forming Speed. Or maybe I need more Solarians, to be honest. Solarians might be pretty worth it, because now each Solarian has forming speed and collecting speed won't do anything, but more Solarians would do me a good bit. Why is this 23? This should be like 25. Okay, there we go. I, I mean, you didn't see it, but I already know what it does. Let's get max Solarians. I'm going to have 10,000 Solarians, and we're genning. 50 a second so those are my upgrades and that'll basically be it for today's video with that guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace